Today we are making a pasta bake with ham, mushrooms and peas and this is just a great crowd pleaser. We're going to be using um, conchiglie, so shells, you can use any pasta you like but we love like shells in particular because they like hold all the like sauce inside them so you get this pop of flavour. Classic Italian way, start yeah. with chopping an onion. So while we're actually preparing the vegetables, we've got water boiling, so we can throw in our pasta. Don't forget, you don't want to kill your onions. You want them on a medium heat, you don't want them to burn, you want them to release all that lovely sweetness. So I have got, for that reason, this lovely bertoli with butter and olive oil, because what it'll do is the olive oil stops it from burning and the butter's are gonna give it its lush, yeah. luxurious, golden, Flavour. Right, it's nearly all melted, so I'm going to get my onions. These are going to go straight in. So our onions are just well coated, and we just need to sweat those yeah. mushrooms in, in with the as mushrooms. Well. Yeah, that kind of is your time at the stove, and then it gets mixed all together with your pasta. So you want your pasta to be undercooked. It wants to be before al dente, before it's cooked, because it's going to cook again in the oven. So it's it's still nice and firm, and we're going to drain that. Okay, and pasta done. Yeah. Well, my mushrooms and onions have all sweated now, so I'm going to add in the peas, light cream cheese, and the ham. So, pasta's going in this big bowl so we can mix it all together. You need to move quite quickly at this point because the pasta will continue to cook and it'll start sticking to itself. What about the um, oregano? Yeah. You can add that in. In there? Yeah. So, I mean, it can be added to the pasta in here. It's all going to be mixed in anyway, so. That's good. If we'd used a bigger pan, you could have put the pasta straight into here, but seeing as we didn't, we're gonna go getting a facial here. <laughs> Mix it all together. This is where now these lovely shells are gonna start kind of holding pockets of this sauce. So just before we put it in the baking dish, we're just gonna add some milk to loosen it because it will dry up in the oven. How much? So just a good splash. If you want to be extra indulgent, put another knob of that bertoli with butter and olive oil. You won't notice it, it won't be heavy, it'll give this like silky smooth lightness. And lots of Italian chefs put a knob of butter in at the end of dishes, risottos and things. We haven't actually seasoned it with any extra salt because no. we're gonna top it with some of our favorite ingredients in Parmesan cheese. And be generous with Parmesan because like I said, we've not used any seasoning other than the natural ingredients in the recipe. Now it's going in the oven at 190 for about 20 minutes. You just basically want to heat it through and let that milk absorb into the pasta. Mm. So good. Yum. But that's a good amount for four to six people, depending on how big your portions are. But today it's just me and you, love. Yep. All right, let's dig in. Oh, look at that crunch. Crunchy. Crunchy topping. I need a yeah. nice big bowl Shocked then the crunchy bit. No, we can <laughs> have a bit each. Look, I'll get a little bit extra. In one pot, so simple. And it's got that luxurious, silky inside, which you've got that bit of milk, bit of cheese, but then that bertoli with butter and olive oil really does give that extra bit of silkiness, yeah. doesn't it? And this recipe is on bertoli.co.uk, so if you want a full recipe, go there, check it out, or let us know what you think. Send us the comments below, and you know, whack in a few extra ingredients if you want. Try, try some other veg or grated carrots, really anything goes. Yeah. 